everybody! Welcome to another video where I do whatever I want. And today, I'm gonna make marble stationery. It's weird, I know, but just hang with me. It looks super cool when it's done. You know all those pen pals you have that you write letters to by hand? Do you ever write those letters and go, gosh darn it, why is this paper so plain? Well, I'm here to solve that problem. Cause it happens every day. Okay, so what's gonna happen is we're gonna use some shaving cream and put some coloring dye in it and then dip some paper in it and then scrape it off. And then that will be a really cool stationery. Also, this could just be a cool way to do like collages or scrapbooks or picture books. It's a cool craft, all right? It looks cool. Don't bug me about it, man. I just wanna do it. So step one is get some shaving cream. So you just fill a whole glass Thing. Do I shake this? Oh, I just want to play with this. This just looks fun to play with. I found out I'm supposed to shake it. Oh, this is fun. Oh, this is just fun in and of itself. <laughs> Did you see how much fun that was? Oh, goodness. We're gonna make some purple stationery. You know what, I'm gonna send a letter to my mother. So just a couple drops of this. Boop, boop. And then you use a spatula and you scrape it around. Okay, it seems that we have Done it. So then you take some paper and you put some painter's tape on the back edges so that the shaving cream doesn't get onto the other side of it. Science. So we're doing a craft and science all in one. Also, we're just doing what I want to do. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Is this difficult? Okay. No, it tore! Oh, oh God, that caught on itself. Oh God. Okay, I can do this. That was some dang good precision if you ask me. No, no, no. I have to think about what kind of letter I want to write to my mom. I have to think about this. This is intense. We don't handwrite letters very often anymore. I feel like they're more meaningful. Like you love the person more than if you just texted them. So you cover it like this. And then you take your mushy mush, gushy gush, pushy push, and you put it inside like this. Get it all. You know what? I see why online they use smaller paper because this doesn't fit very well. Okay, now I take it off this. Oh, that's not even the fun part. Put this on this, and then you put more under it because you didn't get enough, and then you do things that leave only. You guys are gonna see this camera, but you're just gonna deal with it, okay? So you take a ruler, and apparently you just scrape off. Oh, you guys don't understand how satisfying this is. I'm ruining this ruler. You use a ruler you don't care about. Do people care about rulers? Then you just kind of dab it dry, and then you wait for it to dry. Guys, it actually looks pretty legit. I'm actually really excited to have colorful stationery. That is never something in my entire life that I've ever dreamed of owning or having or making. But right now, this five second dream is coming up a reality. Okay, this is gonna go over here and dry while I do the same thing to an envelope because your envelope has to match, right? Is that the thing? That's what makes it stationary, correct? I'm lying. I have no clue what makes something stationary. So we dip it in. It's gonna look so freaking epic. You don't even know, man. You don't even know. Oh, I got caught. Guys, the more I do this, the more excited about it I get. Dab, dab, dab. Dab, dab, dab. Dab your booty, dab your booty, yeah. Ah, uh, now you dry. Ah, uh, guys, I just wanna do this a thousand times. What if I add another color to the mix? I'm gonna put a little green aqua madness in here. Boop, 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 boop. Might have been a little excessive, but I don't give a boop. It's so beautiful. Guys, doesn't it just look gorgeous? All right, so I'm gonna tape off another piece of paper. I've taped these off, and we're gonna do it again. Wrong side. It feels so wrong, but oh so right. And now we peel. Ah. It gets really bendy. Oh no, oh no. I'm getting it on the wrong side. Oh no. Guys, I'm feeling it. It keeps getting on the wrong side. I need more paper towels. All right. Oh yes. This looks way cooler with two colors than just one. I'm just saying. If you're gonna do it, do it freaking right. This looks epic. If you're a scrapbooker and you're tired of buying those construction pieces of paper that have cool designs on them because they cost way more than regular paper, you don't need to buy them anymore. You can make your own. Look at that. Look at it. I have to sneeze, but it's not gonna come out. Oh, I hate it. Oh, that feeling. Oh, I went away. Oh, I hate when I don't sneeze and I need to sneeze. Scrapey, scrapey. I made two more 
small ones because I wanted to. And then <laughs> I forgot to tell you guys that when they dry, you're supposed to put a paper towel on top of them and put a heavy book on top of them or else the edges will start to curl. Um, I learned the hard way. But don't they look freaking awesome? Look at it. This is a piece of paper that you can use. So now I'm gonna take the crap off of it. Oh no, do it softly or else you'll tear it. Oh no, it's tearing it! No! What the crap? Why is this getting ruined? This side's working. You gotta go slow and short tears. Slow and steady wins the race. You know, this paper doesn't look too good. It's all like crinkly. Like you could see the crinkles in it. Like it just doesn't look like quality paper at all. No, 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 no! Don't take the peely thing off! You know what, I'm gonna take the peely thing off and then just seal it with tape. Now that I didn't think how difficult it would be to tear off this tape. Shabloom, shabloom, shabloom. This looks terrible. I'm actually so angry. I thought this was gonna be like the coolest thing in the world, but I took the tape off and it kept ripping the paper every which way and the paper is super flimsy and on the other side, it looks super lame. You can see right through that there's crap on the other side. I don't know if you were supposed to wait longer for it to dry or what, but this one was drying longer and it was even harder to get the tape off. So then I tried it on a smaller one and it completely tore the paper off. It worked fine on the envelope. So if you want a fun little envelope, go for it. I don't know what I did wrong. This is making me very angry because this looks really cool, but it doesn't have the tape off yet. Once I take the tape off, it's gonna be look as lame as this. Look how crinkly and lame this piece of paper is. I want that. I'm so angry. But you know what? I said I was gonna write a letter to my mother, so I'm gonna write a letter to my mother. Dear mother, I love you. Thanks for making me feeding me, clothing me, and never stabbing me with a fork. You are great. Love, your favorite child, Rachel. I wrote a letter. Will I ever send it? No. Seriously, the envelope looks cool, like that looks cool, but the paper itself is terrible. So I guess maybe use thicker paper or I don't know. It's a really cool concept, but it doesn't quite make it through. If you want to use it for scrapbooking, put pictures on top of it, do whatever on top of it, that would look cool. But for a piece of writing utensil, not my favorite. Makes me very disappointed. You know, I got pretty angry at all of this, but this looks freaking awesome and I want to stick my hand in it. <laughs> it feels so good. <laughs> this was worth everything. This was worth all of the sorrows and sadness and ripped paper and stupid crafts in the world. Well, that's it for today. Please comment below and let me know other crafts you'd like to see done. Also, thumbs up this video if it made you even giggle or smile a little bit. Subscribe if you want to see videos every Tuesday and Thursday on this channel. But above all else, remember guys, they awesome possums.